Hi uh, guys, if you're anything like me, you're probably not too fond of this um, new page that they decided was such a great idea here. It's um, <clears throat> it's really hard to see uh, like what videos have been posted last, especially when you have like a lot of subscribe like people who post a lot of videos. Like I occasionally see videos I haven't seen like all the way down here and things like that. And it's the thing is it's not in order of what it when it actually appeared, and you can't cancel these out. And there was a way you could get past it by going slash home. That was removed as of this morning. So uh, I guess the first thing they did this morning, instead of fixing the fucking layout, is they decided that, uh, oh shit, people are, are going past our, our awesome system here of too much useless information and, and large thumbnails. And uh, they decided to code it out of their um, system, which is, I, I don't know their thought process. I really don't. Um, but you know what? I'm here. I'm gonna recommend something to you. Uh, a solution. Like here, look at this. Like if I go, do not show uploads only. Look at this, all this useless information. Like I, I don't get. You know, I come here to watch videos, and I, I barely see any. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys uh, a good piece of little um, tip. If you, if you satisfy the following conditions, you don't care too much about watching things immediately when it when they come out if you do you just use this page i guess cuz i guess it's fine for you cuz if you're if you're checking this like every every few hours then i guess this is fine although it's not an improvement over the last one however if you're like me and you don't want to watch it like you know every you don't want to watch it like a hawk um this is this is what you can do now um use another product called uh um google reader which is something i use uh, quite frequently because it's um, it's basically uh, an RSS aggregator, which which means uh, RSS is a uh, is a syndication um, standard, which is uh, basically it it allows you to export news and things from your favorite sites and put them into a format which something like a, an RSS reader can basically go and and here I'll just go um, see like I have some kind of Minecraft piece of news here. Um, like I can go look at I don't know um, I can go look at some Steam updates because I'm sometimes interested in this and so you see how like I have all the news here that I want and basically it just shows me the latest stuff so when I go here it's like I have no unread items so every morning or every like a few times a day I just go check here and I go read a bunch of items which means I don't have to have like a, a bunch of bookmarks um, with sites that I want to get news from it means that it will automatically show up here, which is highly convenient if you've never used RSS before. Uh, it's great for for that purpose of just getting your news from sites and not having a billion bookmarks you have to check. Um, anyways, so it, it puts it all into one place. So I have like a, I have a bunch of web comics I look at, some gaming stuff, uh, some Google related things. It's actually kind of funny because this actually Google Reader actually got the same treatment as. Um, like a lot of the other uh, Google services, and this one actually had got, got kind of botched because there was nothing new about this compared to the old Google Reader. It's just a bunch of gray buttons, and they just made it all monochrome. And, and anyways, um, back on what I was saying before. Uh, so if you want to have, uh, you can actually include videos inside your Google Reader, and so it's actually extremely convenient. So I'm just gonna go on my own channel here, so you see like you know all this crap. Like oh yeah. Um, uh, so instead of actually going to people's channels, you can, I, I have a, I have a little link here. I'm going to show you, it's actually an extension. It's a Google reader extension. And so this allows you to click to subscribe. So any page that supports it, uh, will have it. Like if I go, let's say to the main page, like you cannot do this for all your subscriptions. You'll notice, uh, this is a different one. This is, uh, an extension called page to RSS, which basically converts pages without RSS feeds to, um, or so you won't be able to do that because it needs an account logged in and stuff like that. But uh, if you go directly to people's channels pages, you will get that link, and you will be fine. And that was my phone. Um, and there's two drawbacks with this. Now the first one is you notice how I have part 70 here. I am on part 72 right now. It seems to have like about a 12-hour delay, I think. So it's not the perfect solution. It is not. Um, however, for people, as I said, who do not check it religious, check this site like religiously, it works. So all you do is I just hit subscribe. Okay, and when I now when I go to Google Reader, I basically see like now all these things, 
And so as you scroll down, it will mark it as red. So you just make sure you just go keep on red or you can star it or something like that. And so, you know, if I go click it, oh, look, I'm now watching my own video. And that's it. Um, as I said, not the ideal solution uh, if you are the kind of person who does look at it a lot. However, it's great for the, for the channels you don't want to check uh, as often and you're kind of interested, but that means you do have to convert all of your... Uh, all of your s subscriptions to basically a format which you can put into here, which may take a little bit of time. But um, I will give you two advantages. I think in the new layout here, I'm going to go to the new design, the new terrible design. Uh, look, look how much it's fucked up my page here. Honestly, this is why I have not switched to it. And look how big people's pictures are. Holy shit. <laughs> Was this really necessary? Like, I know I can change it a little bit, but whatever. Uh... Well, would you look at that? It actually isn't there anymore. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, I thought it would actually stay here, but it looks like they actually took it out. But I would I would assume, though, that the link would remain there. Um, at, at least for the duration of... Uh, I didn't know they would actually... Why would they fucking take it out? This has got to be some kind of joke. Or maybe the feed. Nope. So apparently YouTube is a bunch of uh, complete morons because they actually took out RSS, uh, which I thought would be something they would never take out. But um, they only took out the link on the page, but the RSS feed page will probably still work because I think it will be under their radar. Um, but as I said, I only bring this to you as a possible solution. So like, what, let's see what I can do. Let's see what the link to this is. Um, no, I can't quite do that. Okay, so let me let me just put my channel page back, um, and I'll show you just one more thing you can do. Go back to old channels design. Um, so when I click when I hit this, unfortunately it will not be that. Okay, I'll just show you one more thing. Um, sorry, I'm on a I'm on a so I'm on my page in Firefox. I do have another RSS. Uh, th this is not actually in Firefox as of Firefox four. They actually removed this by default, but you can put it back in with extension. Just like last time. Anyways, this one right here. This is the link that I mean. Um, so, uh, some. this is what I mean. Like, I don't think they would remove this because it's a very specific URL. It doesn't make any sense. It's RSS is basically a, a, a staple of the internet kind of a thing. So, if I go co copy this out and put it into your Google Reader, you know, uh, where is it? I just go subscribe. And then, like, I put someone else I like in. So, like, uh, instead of my name, I put Wikidoo. There you go. Now I have all Wikidoo's videos, which is why I don't think, despite the fact that uh, the RSS feeds seem to be removed in the new channel layout, which is what my, it has to be an error. There's like uh, you probably haven't even you didn't even know it existed until probably I told you. So them removing it doesn't really make any sense. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, that's 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 the solution I have for you. Um, what you can do is maybe the people you don't like uh, watching as often. You can put them in here, and then uh, uh, you know, and then the people you watch often, you can just check on YouTube religiously or something. I hope I hope you watch me religiously. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really care. Um, but uh, as I said, it's 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 the only alternative I possibly have because I have the same issues with the fucking main page as you, as, as you guys all do. So. Um, Especially with the amount of people I'm, I'm subscribed to, I have like a well. You know what? Actually, I I probably have a lot less than what other people have. To be honest, I I have I have a lot, but not that much. So I can imagine someone who um, has a lot of subscriptions would would probably enjoy this a lot, and uh, and yeah. So this is this is uh that's that's pretty much it. So um, I uh, my whole uh. My whole opinion on this thing is, I, as a as a web developer myself, I have no idea what the fuck they were thinking when they when they thought of this, because usually, and, and this is like this is like un this is like un Google, like this is um usually from Google I expect um very uh like very innovative, very user friendly, very tested solutions. A lot of this is very half finished, uh, and it's actually quite annoying. And I don't know what they were thinking. It doesn't make any sense to me, because um, honestly, like every layout change I get, I see from like Gmail or 
or something else. I, I like it a lot, but this, not so much. I'm just kind of like, why? Uh, why was this necessary? So, um, I think they did, I, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain at this point that um, the YouTube team is very different from the rest of the Google teams. And uh, basically, they thought this was a good idea because they have a very different idea of what people like, and they and they basically just cram it down everyone's throats, which is why they would have removed the homepage because they're like, uh, no, we're we're migrating everything to the, everybody to this because we think we think we know what's good for you. Basically, we think we know what's better for you, and and all my opinion is is like why. Like it's it's not better, and and I, I think it's uh, there's a large audience which basically says no, it's not good, but they basically just forced it on everybody anyways. It's kind of like um you know what uh, to be honest though um uh, with respect to the new channels, I'm not really talking about the RSS stuff anymore. So if you you don't give a shit, then you can just tune out. Um, the new channel design. Uh, my whole problem with this is is it's it's completely unintuitive. I can't I can't find what I used to find. Like I go edit channel, like um, I don't know, like they they have like a different kind, different kinds. Like I can put mine on creator or something, which is probably exactly what I have mine on. But there's no fucking, uh, there's no freaking flexibility at all. Like I can't move these around. I can go edit. I'm like, oh okay, uh, I can select another playlist to add or something, or like you know, I don't really know why I have a like I had a link, a bunch of links with all my hardware's, uh, hard hardware's. I have a bunch of links with all my hardware, but like for some reason it's all. Uh, I, I I don't know why it does this. This is stupid. And like I don't even know where my channel comments are anymore. Uh, I can see featured channels here. Yeah, it's fine. Like I can't move these to what the, the I can't move anything to the center. I can't have my comments in the middle. Like like it's like they're trying to get rid of the friggin' channel comments because I I can't see it. Where is it? <laughs> like like I can post one, but I don't see it. I can't, I can't see what any, anyone else has posted, so it's like, what's the point? And like, and then I gotta go click on this tab for my videos. I'm like, look at the playlist now. You know those those cool little first uh, images I had. What the fuck happened? Why do I need to see all this? Like, why can't I just have a grid view? Why do I have like the like these little mistakes in there? Like, it's half fa it's it's half assed. It really is. Like, you know, they they just go, oh, it looks fucking awesome. Let's go put that up now. And then, like, no, and and the thing is, uh, the the old, uh, well, not sorry, the old old channel layout. I actually was one of the people who kind of switched mine a little earlier because I knew that they would migrate it eventually. And I actually thought it was wasn't as bad as people thought because I liked I like my organization of how I can have, um, you know, I go on my on my front page here, and then I have like, oh look, I have you know my uploads, my favorites, and then I have my playlists. Like I, I have it in order of the games I did recently. So I guess I should, Skyrim should now be at the top, and I did Jedi Knight before that. So if I actually click on it, then I get like all the playlists. They all have single images. It's great. You can see it in a glance of what I've done. Um, you cannot do that anymore. You cannot see cha you can't see channel comments. I can't have this fucking thing on the side. Uh, well, this is more of a, a partner thing, by the way. Um, you can't do anything. Uh, I can't see my channel. Con Why? I don't know. Anyways, uh, so I hope this helps somebody out there, and uh, uh, good luck, I guess, because uh, I doubt they're going to change their mind. I just hope they fix it. Uh, but, you know, this is YouTube, so my faith is not very well placed. Have a good one.